Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and today I want to talk about this. What is this? It is a collection of Ghibli's short films. Uh, it's got I think 33 short films on it and we're going to go through the history of Ghibli's um, releases and talk about why you may not have seen this in the US and why you might want to pick it up. Let's take a look. So for a brief history of Studio Ghibli's uh, releases of their films, uh, they s entered a partnership with Disney uh, for the release of Nausicaa and the Valley of the Wind. And from day one, there was tensions between both Disney and Studio Ghibli as they would want to make uh, several edits to Nausicaa. And this would kind of continue into several of their films, um, including Kiki's Delivery Service, which uh, had uh, multiple edits to the sound effects and some of the music and even dialogue. However, uh, after uh, scoring a Oscar with Spirited Away, things seemed to be going okay for a while, but the films still weren't making a ton of money, and they had a hard time figuring out how to market the films in the U.S., uh, it wasn't until after they released um, The Wind Rises through their Touchstone label that the, the deal soured completely and uh, G-Kids would acquire the, uh, the rights to release the films, at least physically, in the U.S. And they're the current um, ones, the current company that owns the rights to uh, their home media stuff. So the uh, at least in Japan, the uh, Walt Disney Japan still owns the home video rights to all their stuff, and that's actually who released this short film collection. So it features short films from 1992 up to 2016. So it actually has some trailers all the way up until the Red Turtle, uh, which was a collaboration uh, Studio Ghibli had with another studio. And um, a lot of what's on here is advertisements for different um, Japanese businesses, short films to coincide with some of their other films, uh, stuff to that they had displayed at the Ghibli Museum, just a lot of random stuff. I can't really do it justice. There's a lot of stuff on here, and uh, I, I do recommend giving it a try. Uh, none of the films have a ton of there is of course Japanese in the actual short films themselves but nothing that is excessive like where you need to um you know know Japanese it's 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 pretty cut and dry self-explanatory advertising stuff um the menus are in Japanese but it's pretty much play movie chapters and um like bonus and if you do need to navigate the menus uh, you can always use Google Translate. It gets you around pretty well. That's what I've used. Uh, the Blu-ray is region-free, which means that you don't have to worry about it not playing on any of your uh, devices, whether it's Blu-ray player or um, the Playstations, anything that you're playing it on. It's I've tested it on several players, and it works fine on all of them. So you don't have to worry about anything there. So, as far as I know, there is no standalone release of this from G Kids. I don't know. I don't own the um, the big uh, Hayao Miyazaki box set, and I do know that there was some bonus features on that. But I don't. As far as I know, there is no standalone release of this. Um, it's kind of comparable to the Pixar and um, like Walt Disney Animation releases, like of their short films. Uh, like the celebrate celebration Mickey or celebrating Mickey, whatever it's called, <laughs> from a couple years ago. Uh, you know, you could buy that by itself. And as far as I know, I don't think they've done anything with that over here. And I'm guessing part of it is probably a rights issue with some of the companies that have advertisements in this, and maybe just lack of interest because this is not something that's gonna be you know making a lot of money or be super popular over here. It's this is more for I don't want to say the diehards, but maybe just to see some of this more, you know, interesting short projects that you normally wouldn't get uh, to, to to view. A lot of these are online, they're on YouTube, so it's not like this is the only way to watch them. But some of these, it's, you know, it's, it's probably the best uh, picture quality you're going to find for a lot of these. And it's just cool to, you know, have it if you already 
own a lot of their other films and want to include it in the collection. So uh, I couldn't really find any reviews of it. That's actually kind of why I decided to talk about it in this video. So, uh, yeah. So in conclusion, I really do recommend this collection. Until we see an official release from G Kids or somebody else, this is really the only way you can see a lot of Ghibli's shorts in a really high quality. Um, so, if you can find it for a reasonable price, I do recommend it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good collection. So, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share it with anybody that you might find it interesting, and I'll be back soon with something else that might spring up. So, thanks again.